Hey everybody. So several months ago I was riding my bike to work and occasionally I'll find random tools and things like that in the road and uh, you know it's pretty cool finds here and there but anyway I was riding and I came across this uh, this battery. It's a DeWalt battery 20 volt max and you know up at the shop where I work we have quite a few DeWalt uh, cordless drills that you know I, I really like them, I use them all the time and so you know initially I thought oh well this will, maybe this will work with one of the drills we got but you know this is the uh, the 20 volt max style which is a little smaller more comp you know well this is the uh, 1.5 uh, uh, AH uh, version so this is the smallest one that makes them bigger bigger ones obviously but the, type, the ones that we have up at work are the 18 volt versions and so anyway I got you know found this I know it's a little a little bit silly but you know basically you know found this battery and based a tool buying choice off of that but you know look at the little combo packs and I figured they would you know come with two batteries so have three batteries you know be pretty less likely to run out of juice there so Anyway, I kind of, you know, I was getting close to my anniversary and I, you know, looked on, you know, I saw a few up at Home Depot and I, you know, told my wife, well, there's some really cool little combo packs that uh, DeWalt has. It's a drill and then a little impact driver. I've seen the impact driver that our uh, safety clean, like our solvent tank guy, they have a the little DeWalt impact driver to uh, do the lids and things like that and always thought it was kind of a cool tool. I didn't really think too much of it but I thought that little combo kit looked pretty cool so um, my wife got me this and uh, it's a little um, it's kind of a basic one but it's a little basic combo kit with a, a brushless motor and such. Basically all the specs there you know your drill it's a DCD 790 and then the the uh, impact driver the DCF 886 and you know it takes a quarter inch driver 0 to 2800 rpm is you know variable depending on how the you hold the trigger um, 0 to 3200 impacts per minute maximum torque 125 foot pounds there's some that are, you know, the heavier duty cordless versions that are probably more than twice that. But, you know, for what I use it for, it's awesome little tool. 2.8 pounds, which is definitely nice there. And, you know, pretty solid little warranty, I guess, there, you know. You get a, you know, a little bag and you get your little impact wrench there and uh, the drill and you know, it comes with the uh, couple batteries battery pack same one as I had there one thing that's different with the one I that I found here is that it's got a little you know battery indicator there so got I don't know if you can see that but two little LEDs there so it gives you a that's kind of a status symbol on the battery, you know, as far as how much battery life you have left or what kind of where you're at there. But these ones didn't have that, but you know, whatever. It's you know, now that I have three, so it's you know, figure there's two devices, three batteries. I like, you know, it's be pretty difficult unless you just got really lazy to run out. But got your little charger there. So, one little thing charge the battery uh, you know you basically got your series of lights when it's blinking it's charging when it's just stays lit continuously it's charged and then both of these lights will be lit if it's either you know you're too hot or too cold of condition so it won't uh, charge till it gets in the adequate temperature there so click it down on there and then you know you'll get your blinking light there It'll be lit up all the way once you're fully charged. And then she also got me the a little uh, kit here for the uh, the um, impact driver. 
few accessories and stuff. We'll go over that here in just a minute. And but you know you, the every you know the, kind of some of the things I noticed first off with this compared to the 18 volt version that I've been using before was just how much lighter uh, these are. You know even with the battery pack, it's I mean really that's not any heavier than a standard drill. It's probably you know I don't know what the exact weight is, but it feels to me about half the weight of the uh, 18 volt version. Which you know is nice when you're you know really struggling, reaching, trying to get weird angles. You're you know running around, climbing a ladder and stuff like that. It just you know I don't know. It's definitely just feels more. Uh, just feels like it'd be quicker. Um, but you know a couple of things that I like with these. I know a lot of the uh, different um, you know cordless tools. They have a little LED light on them and thing I like about this one is, you know, it engages once you turn it on, but then it stays on for, you know, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 seconds, but it's kind of nice, you know, you're working, you know, sometimes you get into those dark spaces and, you know, it seems really annoying with the ones that just light up when you hit the trigger. This is kind of nice to keep bump it and kind of see where you're going and then do your, do your, whatever you're going to do from there. So that's a pretty cool little feature. Uh, you know, the thing with, with with these, you know, I know a lot of guys that are, you know, they probably use these day in and day out. You know, as far as it, basically where I work, I use some little cordless drills, the really small ones for, you know, working on wheels or, you know, speeding up, you know, if I'm assembling something. So kind of in addition to just doing your normal day-to-day -day tasks that, you know, require, you know, putting a bolt in something or screw or whatnot and doing it quickly. Um, I, I like it as far as from a production standpoint at work, you know, for, you know, having to work on a bike, assemble bikes or, you know, it's really quick as far as So torque settings, you know, on a bolt like this, you have to be careful because it is a five newton meter max. But you know, it's just normally once you hit, you know feel the impact start to engage when you're installing it, you know, you can pull off and then check it with your torque wrench. You know, add the final bit there. But you know, as far as disassembling or putting something initially together, you know, this will really spin this. You know, you want to just make sure you're not starting it you know, cross-threading it, so it definitely requires some experience and skill rather than somebody just going and ripping into it, but uh, you kind of just got to have a feel for that, but basically, you know, essentially in a, you know, production setting, like, you know, you got 12 hours worth of work that you got to somehow accomplish in an eight-hour day, this will definitely cut your time in half in a lot of instances where you need to, you know, if you're just using an Allen wrench or whatever and Turning it, turning it off, you know, this is going to work a lot quicker, but, you know, it does require a certain amount of touch and skill because it would be super simple just to break off bolt heads or strip out threads and things like that. First time I used this, I had, you know, was out mowing the, mowing the grass in the backyard and one of the kids said, you know, there was a bungee cord or something that had gotten thrown and I didn't see it. Ran over it, of course it gets caught all up under the blade and Tried to get it out, couldn't, so, you know, I don't know if you've ever tried to take off a lawnmower blade, it can be somewhat difficult. Okay, so that's the little, uh, little kit here that I got for the, uh, with the impact driver there. And 
It's got these little flex torque bits. You know, I was a little skeptical on these at first, um, whether they would, you know, seem kind of, I don't know, dainty maybe, like they would just snap that off. But so far, I haven't broken anything. But, you know, I first got this, the first thing that really caught my eye was this, uh, you know, the quarter inch to three eighths socket bit there. So um, shortly after I got this, I hadn't tried it on anything just yet, but I had the whole lawnmower fiasco. And so put the socket on there and, you know, zip that lawnmower blade right off first try. So it wasn't even in, wasn't even an issue. So that was, that was pretty nice. Um, the, uh, up at the uh, bike shop I work, we've been working on a, a build out remodel of the shop and so you know I took it up there and that was kind of the first I really used it a lot and so we we pretty much use this thing for um, every day pretty much all day for a solid week and that's where I really you know really got to use it a lot and really started to like this thing and um, we you know we're doing a lot of remodel stuff doing a lot of you know screws into drywall and the studs and things like that building some boxes and building some new walls and tearing down some old walls and stuff like that so this little uh, uh bit here you can see how much that thing's it's been pretty heavily used at this point but still works great but it's got a little magnetic tip so set your screw and just zip it right in there so um but you know you can see this you know it's super uh this little you just pull the little chuck out there but put the put anything into it you just you know stab it straight in there and you're good to go and you can literally just with one hand you know take whatever out so it's super easy you got your hands full pretty pretty sweet actually so um yeah well it's uh got the uh it's got three three little leds there so you know you can see same thing they stay lit for several seconds afterwards so you know I, I was constantly finding myself just bump it you know and you really focus in on what your your work piece there so that's that's really nice really nice feature there this is you know i'm sure pretty much their most basic uh impact driver setup and you know there's no it's just a one you know it is variable so you you know you're you kind of you know how you know it's pretty uh it's not pretty smooth uh, action there some of the other features it's you know they're not included with this and it's you know you could definitely add it but there's little holders for your bits or a you know belt clip or whatever it's got a little strap there where you can put something or other but yeah that's uh you know your vert reverse direction and then you know really from there it's just regulating the you know the uh, speed with the trigger and, uh, well, let's drive a couple uh, to show you some of the stuff here that it'll do just some basic stuff how about that that looks good okay so we're gonna try to drive this one in here Split that sucker right in two. <laughs> All right, let's try. Uh... Try a lag bolt. Mm. Pull it back together, maybe. Pretty quick. Alright, so the first bicycle type application, you know, I've really been finding myself, you know, I had it up at the shop using it quite a bit to disassemble things, you know, removing tight crank bolts or, 
even stem bolts that aren't tight you know it's really just you know i could see a lot of bike mechanics saying oh that thing's just too much you know you're going to strip bolts left and right but you know, it's really just kind of a feel thing you know it's, um you know kind of what you're familiar with the torque of you know bolts there's, there's definitely more than enough power for 99 percent of everything but there's still you know light power for you know just enough when you need it and you'll be surprised how little you know really stress that part puts on your wrist you know or joints and things just you know breaking loose normal bolts but um you know that's just kind of one little application that i've been using this particular tool a lot on and um you know i found that i really i'm liking it as far as you know for different um you know different things than what's typically you know different applications than what this is typically used for um you know as far as the drill it's you know basic drill you know you got your drill selection there and then your different speeds as far as you know driving you know using it as a drill driver or whatever but you know typically i just use it as far as drill then one thing I've always liked, you know, I don't know, most of the, uh, the you know, the chucks that I've, you know, used, they're, uh, you know, you chuck up a drill bit or something there. It's, uh, you know, the thing I like about this is that, you know, there's like a little clutch in there. So you, you, you basically lock it in, and you can unlock it, you know, you don't have to, you know, a lot of them they have a, uh, you know two chucks you have to do or the little key you know so this is really nice that it's it's got a, like a some kind of a clutch mechanism there so you know you can take it off really easy or you know chuck it up you know use the actual motor to get it get you know for the speed but you know nice little super grippy metal serrated grip there so you know you got this one actually has, uh, you know, two speeds there on the top. And then this one actually did, you know, it's got the little holder for your, you know, one little, you know, bit there or whatever. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say all in all, I'm just, you know, I'm really, really pleased with these uh, tools. The only real minor issue I had... Uh, one of the little batteries that came with it there, it was dead. I mean, it would never, it would never take a charge or anything. So, um, you know, called the wall, called the one eight hundred number, and there's a store, you know, Dewalt Service Center store here in town, and so they basically just you know, got me a brand new battery there. So, you know, was no, no kind of issue whatsoever. So, yeah, I mean, it's uh. You know, and I know the, the bigger, you know, there's the two point, you know, that's kind of one of the things, you know, I've seen with this one is that the, the battery pack doesn't last very long. But, you know, honestly, the way, you know, how I've used it and such, which is, you know, I'd say your typical do-it-yourself or a homeowner or whatever, you know, you buy a, you know, a two pack like this, you know, you get one going and, you know, unless you're just totally using that thing nonstop, it's, you know, you take one out, you charge the other battery, you're always going to have a battery good to go and i you know, i don't know i just really like the, the 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 lightweightness of this you know it's just really it's, you know it's pretty amazing that there's that much power in these tools nowadays that are that are that light but you know i'm sure there's a you know lots of you know reviews comparing this one you know or others and even the nicer dewalt's you know it's just a basic made in mexico you know but it's i don't know it's it, this thing's really been an eye opener to set up these sets for me you know as far as using some other stuff and it's kind of one of those deals you know, especially these newer ones once you get one you kind of wish you had gotten one a lot sooner so yeah that's uh the basic uh review and i would have to say i'd give this thing two thumbs up and i just it's i'd say especially the impact driver it's I, that's probably my favorite tool i've used in the past couple months or so for sure so but yeah, that's uh that's the that's basically it and thanks for checking this out.